friends through this video i wish to address a common question asked by the residents as to what is the adequate depth of a trench while performing a stop and chop or divide and conquer technique so i would say an important prerequisite for an ideal trench is making a good capsular rexis the size of the rexis should be aimed between 5 to 5.5 mm if the rexis is too small there is a risk that its margin may get aspirated by the phaco probe while sculpting or may get damaged by the chopper in the left hand on the other hand if the rexis is too large the nucleus may keep popping out of the bag while sculpting resulting in inefficient trenching the rexis is then followed by gentle hydro dissection and rotation of the nucleus before you start sculpting ensure that the phaco tip is adequately exposed the afr at this stage should be between 20 to 25 vacuum between 30 to 50 and the ultrasound energy between 40 to 70 depending upon the density of the nucleus while keeping the bevel up one should start the sculpting movements from the proximal end of the ccc towards the distal end knowing that the thickness of the cataractus lens may vary anywhere from 4.5 to 5.5 mm in the center and the outer diameter of the phaco tip is 1.2 mm one can safely take 2 to 3 complete edge to edge passes of the tip however once 50% depth of the nucleus is crossed one should slow down and carefully try to deepen the trench further until about 80 to 90% depth is reached this would be indicated by enhancement of the fundal glow visibility of slightly rough looking posterior lens fibers and the fact that the groove will be deep enough to accommodate 2 and a half to 3 phaco tips within itself it is also important that the walls of the groove are structured well and not damaged or made wider by more than 1 and a half times the width of the phaco probe once these are ensured one can place the chopper and phaco tip deep inside the groove along the sides of its walls and apply a gentle lateral force to crack the nucleus into two halves once separated the hemi nuclei may then be brought out of the bag and chopped in the central safe zone using higher and appropriate phaco settings further course of the surgery is no different from a routine one thank you for watching and hope you like the tips